What's up guys? Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane and today I'm very excited to bring you guys the latest version of IC Sorcery for the Galaxy Nexus. Now one of my favorite developers of all time, Dev Vortex. You Droid X guys, you know him from uh, his Vortex ROMs on the Droid X. They were some of the stablest, some of the fastest, some of the least battery consuming uh, ROMs for the Droid X. So they were some of my favorites on the Gingerbread Kernel and uh, I just really grew to love his work on the Droid X and he has put tons of work into this new IC Sorcery ROM along with Eagle and Team Sorcery. They put together a really unique ROM uh, that has lots of extra custom features that you won't see in other ROMs. Uh, you're going to see some elements of like AOKP, some of the mods that you would get in an AOKP or a CM9, but there's tons of extra things that you won't get from those ROMs. This ROM is said to be the most themable ROM, and I have to agree that there's so many different customization options in here that you won't find anywhere else. Um, I feel like you'll be pleased, and it performs to boot. So uh, the first thing we'll get into is the About Phone, so you can see what version it's running on. So we'll go to About Phone, and it is running on Android version 4.0.4, and it's running the custom, I'm sorry, it's running the stock Android kernel. Uh, so it is clocked at 1200 gigahertz. I'm sorry, 1200 megahertz, 1 1.2 gigahertz. Um, it is not overclocked, but the nice thing about this is there are so many options to customize. You can download your own kernel, whatever you want, directly from the uh, IC Sorcery tools. Now we'll get there here in a minute. First of all, I do want to say that even clocked at 1.2 gigahertz, this thing really seems to fly. I did do some quadrant scores and I was getting about 2200. And that's on, like I said, 1.2 gigahertz. So that's as quick as any other ROM uh, that you're going to find. I felt like the battery life on this ROM was pretty decent, uh, definitely better than stock. And uh, let's see, it does come with the Apex launcher, which is what you see here. If you press and hold, you can go to Apex Actions and. Uh, bring up the Apex settings and here you can change all your settings in Apex Launcher. You can uh, do all kinds of things. The things that I always like to do are the home screen settings. I like to change the transition effect to cube out and really that's about it. I'll, I'll just kind of keep it simple. And so let's jump into the settings. And first we'll look at IC Sorcery modifications. Now these are the kind of modifications that you would see in other ROMs like CM9 and AOKP. We've got battery re related changes. Uh, here we can change the icon style uh, to text only. I'm not going to spend a ton of time in this because you guys have seen this before. Uh, signal styles, you can change the colors, clock adjustment, you can change it to center clock. And we'll just kind of run through these quick toggle options. Of course these are your toggles here and you can change these toggles however you want. Uh, you can change the order, you can choose the toggles that you would like to enable, and they do have a torch and there is a 4G LTE toggle as well. You can do the toggle styles, you can go just icons, uh, and you can do also do alternate toggles. There's magical UI here, uh, just a few settings there, and magical commands. Uh, you can disable the boot animation. I disabled the boot audio because it's very loud and obnoxious. Some of you may like it. Uh, I chose to disable it. You can also do allow 180 degree rotation. And you can turn CRT on or off. Custom carrier label, I like to put in DMX Wireless or Droid Miter X. And it does all that on the fly. You can also uh, speed up your rotation delay. So whenever you turn the phone, it switches back and forth really quickly. Of course, every change that you make, it reboots the system UI so that that change is made automatically, which is a really cool feature. Navigation bar, you can change your navigation buttons. You see that I changed my uh, Recents app with a YouTube app. You can change any of these to any custom app just by clicking. So if I click this, I could go to uh, Custom App and then change that to, like, say, Twitter. And it'll change that on the fly. You can also change navigation bar width and height, which some of you guys will find that pretty useful. Uh, if you wanted to go smaller, you could go way smaller. Or you could just go to the default, or you can even make it bigger. Pretty cool. Uh, lock screen options, you can come down here and change 
your lock screen apps to custom applications, which is really neat. You can also enable fast torch. So if I go to the lock screen, uh, or if I turn it off and then I hold the power button, my torch light will come on. That's pretty cool. Of course, as soon as you unlock the phone, it takes that away so that you're not draining battery. Uh, so that's it for IC Sorcery Modifications. Now we'll jump into the special part, which is IC Sorcery Tools. Now, Dev Vortex has really sucked a lot of time into this, uh, so you've got some awesome things here. Uh, quick tips, you can go through those or close them. There's nothing really special there. Uh, so just in the icons, you can change your battery icons. And these all have to be downloaded, so they download very quickly. Uh, if you go to Soft Keys... There are several to choose from here, and let's see, we'll just choose any. Those look pretty cool, so we'll apply those. Hopefully those take. Okay, so it's going to reboot the UI automatically and apply that modification on the fly. Just give it a few seconds, and okay, so you see it changed my keys there. And it did that on the fly. You also have some status bar changes uh, that you can make. So if you want to, it'll give you like, see, it'll, it'll change your drop down status bar uh, to any of these. And it does, like I said, it gives you a preview so you can see what you're changing and what you're changing it to. Uh, there's some miscellaneous things here under icons as well that you can change, like your frameworks. Uh, boot animations, I'm sorry, these are animations, transition animations when you go from window to window doesn't look like there's anything there okay so boot animations there's over 200 to choose from and these can also be applied on the fly and I'm not sure if you have to reboot or not because I have not tested these out yet so I'll do this last because I'm not sure if you have to reboot for this so I'll do that last you got fonts uh, here's what I said, you can change your kernels, and then once the kernels are changed, you can go in there and overclock. So there's all kinds of different kernels to choose from. Uh, if we went with a lean kernel and applied that, see so you would have to reboot into recovery. I'm going to cancel for now, but you guys see how easy it is to do. Uh, pull down mods. This is for the pull down the background here, and these are really easy to change. So let's go with Call of Duty. This is animated, so I'll go ahead and change it there. And then, of course, they always have the original whatever stock. They have that listed at the top, so you can always revert back to stock very easily if you don't like what you see. Um, in this build, they seem to have uh, taken out all the wizardry and all that Harry Potter-esque stuff that I didn't like in my last review. Uh, so I really like this ROM a whole lot better because I get to pick and choose the customizations that I want. So now if I pull this down and have the Call of Duty background, if I take these toggles away, uh, you saw how cool that was. Let's see. And it's animated there. It's pretty cool. And there's like several to choose from there. And let's see, what else? Device manager. There's an app manager, extra apps, push notifications. Mods, ROM updates, My UI Root Explorer, themes. These are they have theme manager themes, theme engine, and you can actually download theme engine themes to theme your entire phone, which is really cool. There's some tools here, Dev Tools, Overclock Settings. So once you go in there and you flash your kernel, you can actually go to Overclock Settings and overclock your device. Right now, the maximum that you can do is 1.2 gigahertz on the stock kernel, but like I said, you can flash a custom kernel and overclock to your heart's content. And then there's several other uh, modifications and tweaks there as well. If you go here, uh, you have some UI tweaks that you can download there as well with some quick tips and uh, empty the sorcery folder as well. So this has been the ICE, I'm sorry, this has been the IC Sorcery 3.4 updated ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Okay guys, so we'll go ahead and jump into the install guide real quick. Uh, so what you want to do is head to the link in the description, go ahead and download both the ROM file and the GApps file. Be sure that you have both of those files on your SD card. Then you're just going to, going to reboot into recovery. Now you can flash this via Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Reco Recovery Project. I prefer TWRP uh, just because you can plug your phone in while you're in recovery and charge your battery. So uh, just say that you happen to be at a very low 
battery percentage, whatever you boot into uh, recovery, you can plug that baby up and continue to charge. You don't have to worry about your battery crashing on you while you're flashing in recovery. So the first thing you want to do here is just go to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe. When that's finished, you'll hit the back button. Go to cache, swipe to wipe, then go back and hit Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe back and then back again you'll go to install you're looking for IC sorcery 3.4 full dot zip go ahead and select that swipe to flash be sure that it's the correct file here when that's finished go back and you will select the G apps April 29th is the latest G apps I just make sure that you have the correct file swipe to flash when that's finished about five minutes have expired uh, in that as soon as you finish that you will reboot the phone and reboot system. So guys, that is the IC Sorcery uh, 3.4 ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. If you've liked this video, be sure to click on the subscribe button. I'll continue to bring you ROM reviews for the Galaxy Nexus as well as the Samsung Galaxy S3 that is coming. Uh, we don't know when us on Verizon. We were hoping sometime this week, but that's not looking very likely. But as soon as that phone comes out, we will be covering that. Uh, also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It helps me out a ton. You don't know how much I appreciate that. Also, be sure to check out DroidModerX.com where I will bring you guys the latest news uh, for Android and technology. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.